guys, so in today's astrology lesson, we're going to be talking about the North Node and the South Node. If you want to find the North Node in your birth chart, look for this symbol right here. The North Node shows you where your life's purpose is, and it shows you where you will reach ultimate fulfillment. Not to get confused with the MC, because the MC represents our reputation and kind of like our peak, and it's ego base. With the North Node, it shows where you would be if you pushed past your comfort zone. Just like the MC and the IC, uh, you have a North Node and you have a South Node. Your South Node is going to be the sister sign of your North Node. So if your North Node is in Aries, then that means your South Node is going to be in Libra. So the house in which your north node is in your birth chart probably makes you uncomfortable. Unlike the MC, which I do use in career planning readings, and just side note, if you are interested in a career planning reading, go ahead and check my readings list, my readings price list on my Instagram page, and um, shoot me an email if you are interested. So, unlike the MC, which I do include in career planning readings, I definitely factor in the placement of the MC. I do not factor in the placement of a person's North Node in career planning meetings, readings, excuse me, because the North Node is where you would end up being in your life or what you would end up doing if money or material things were non-factors. So because we look at career in a very materialistic way, because of the way society is set up, um, you, you kind of have to factor in how you'll make your money with whatever the goal in your life is. That's just the kind of society that we live in. Career is always going to be ego-based versus the North Node. A majority of the time, there are no monetary gains to be made from following the path of your North Node. And, and the thing about the North Node is this could be something that happens internally that no one else gets to witness. Now, you could easily follow the path represented by your South Node and you would probably be successful at it. But if you decide to follow the path of your North Node, again, you're pushing past kind of the boundaries that you set for yourself and going into an unknown world for you. And for that, you will be rewarded. Unlike the other indications in your chart, like the planets or asteroids, the North Node is invisible. And to better explain it, I'm gonna pull a direct quote from a blog called Well and Good, and it's ran by Kells McPhillips. And she actually quotes Rachel Lane. Here it is. In the sky, this node is the point where the moon's orbit intersects with the northern ecliptic hemisphere at the time of your birth. So it's unique because it's literally a point of intersection versus even if you look at the MC or the IC, they're just specific points. Okay, so right now we have my dad's chart pulled up. His north node is in the first house in Taurus, which means that we know his south node is in the sister sign of Taurus, which is Scorpio, so it's directly across from the first house and the seventh house in Scorpio, okay? so. Remember, the South Node is kind of what we're comfortable with and how we are naturally inclined to live our lives. So Seventh House is all about partnership and someone with a South Node here is going to think more about partnership and what other people doing are doing more than what they are doing and self-reflection. This is a person that probably grew up needing approval in order to make decisions or to be happy with themselves. Now, my dad is a very private person. His son is in Scorpio and he is true definition of a Scorpio son. He's very private, but I do know that so my dad is from Mississippi and his dad, so my granddad, 
was a great educator. So great that a middle school in Mississippi was named after him. He was appointed to be principal of the school and because Mississippi or Greenville, Mississippi rather, is a very small town. They had to um, kind of uphold a certain image. And I know that um, his, his parents' approval was very important to him at a younger age. He was also the oldest. So they looked to him to set the standard for the rest of his siblings. So um, seventh house things, you know, seeking approval for others, having to consistently think about other people and kind of less about yourself and what you want and what you need. So he made a huge move uh, when he got accepted to college. He moved from Mississippi, out of Mississippi, to DC. And he did that without any family and he never ever looked back. So he never ever went back to living in Mississippi or even visiting there. <laughs> so that transition catapulted his kind of journey into thinking more about self, first house things, moving more toward the North Node. Now remember, let's also uh, think about the fact that his South Node what is in Scorpio. So what does Scorpio do? Scorpio kind of breaks down to rebuild. Um, and they kind of have a constant need to dissect everything versus Taurus is going to be uh, encouraging us to look at things at face value. So um, my dad was definitely uh, exposed to loss at a young age. Um, he lost his father at a young age. So he's definitely used the, to the idea that nothing is permanent. And I think because of that, um, that kind of, and I, I even have seen this in him. So this probably, he probably didn't make the transition that I'm about to talk about until later on in life. But um, the constant need to kind of prepare for endings or kind of ending things yourself because you think they're going to end anyway in order to rebuild something new. Um, that's just kind of like how he looked at life for a while, I noticed. But now, I mean, he tends to kind of like take, take things how, how they are, more of a glass half full type of person. Um, and he just focuses on what's in front of him um, and more of the, the tangible parts of life than thinking of, oh my God, what if, and dissecting everything. Furthermore, my dad used to work in the criminal justice system. And, you know, I honestly don't think he was very happy with it. Um, justice is a seventh house theme. Um, and then specifically criminal justice or dealing with criminals rather is a Scorpio thing. Uh, I really don't think he was happy with that. Um, he retired pretty early in life and started working at a tennis center that was way more relaxed, way more. He was able to have way more time to relax and do things that he uh, enjoys and get more pleasure out of life. Um, so that is more of a tourist thing and is thinking more about self. So that has been today's astrology. 101 lesson. Thank you so much for watching. I am the Eighth House Siren. If you liked this content, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. We are now on lesson 14. So at this point, I really want to know what's up. Like, is your subscribe button broken? Are you afraid of commitment? Because that's something that we could talk about as well. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like and I will see you next time. Bye.